Hello everybody, Calamity here, or at least that's what they call me on the RimWorld. Today's video is going to be all about our favorite Chief Justice, Nuvalet. He's having yet another rerun banner in the second half of the latest update in Genshin. And I'm here to talk about the character, about everything you need to know from his talents, weapons, artifacts, constellations, team setups, and of course we're going to show him, uh, showcase him in the Spiral Abyss, so that's a lot to cover. So let's get started, but before we do, Big shout out to Samer Jammer for letting me borrow her account once again because I do not have Nuvalet on my own. So thanks again, Samer. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Nuvalet is easily the one of the strongest characters in the game, if not the strongest. He is a very hard hitting Hydro DPS, and we're going to talk about his talents first. Starting with his normal attack talent as Water Seeks Equilibrium. Now, if you Look over all this text here, there is a lot of stuff to explain about uh, Nuvalet's normal attack, but we're going to condense it down a bit. So you might be seeing gameplay of Nuvalet's charge attack, and that's where the main source of damage comes from, from this character. So we want to do his, his special charge attack as much as we can. It's basically this huge beam of water. Now you might have seen the charge time for that charge attack and thought, wow, that was really slow. I'm not going to be using that. Well, there are ways that we can actually make the charge time drastically faster. So when you use Nuvalet's skill or his burst, he creates what's called source water droplets. You could just call them water balls for short, like I do, or just whatever. It's I think it's a very long name, but you can basically gather these source water droplets as you're charging uh, his, well, his charge attack and it will make it much faster. In fact, it will almost feel instant uh, so that you can use his beam constantly and just spam it for loads and loads of damage. And that's pretty much your game plan with this character. Something else worth noting is if we go over to the skill attributes, you're going to notice that his charge attack, the one that we care about, he does have a, a separate one, uh, is based off his max HP. So when it comes to building Nuvalet, we just want HP. You actually do not want to give him attack buffs or just build him for attack uh, when it comes for your, to your artifacts, like attack percentage, main stat, sands, for example. He, he does not need attack at all. He just wants HP. So bear that in mind. Characters like Bennett aren't actually going to benefit haha, uh, Nuvalet because he only buff Bennett only uh, buffs attack where we only need HP percentage. Or, excuse me, we just need max HP. Next up is his elemental skill, which is pretty easy to explain. It's just going to do AoE hydro damage to nearby opponents, and it will create three source water droplets when you use it. Also, it does Numia damage, so for those that are exploring Fontaine or you're fighting Fontaine-related ant enemies, if you need uh, Numia damage, Nuvalet does it. Also worth noting that his skill damage is also based off his max HP once again, so therefore, Solidifying the fact that you don't, do not need attack uh, stats for Nuvalet. Next up is O Tides I Have Return, also known as his burst. Also super easy to explain. It also just does AoE high show damage, but this one will make six source water droplets instead of three. So it's a great way to keep continuously spamming your charge attack. And you do want to get some energy recharge so that you can burst consistently not so much for the damage but for the water droplet so that you can constantly use your charge attack and we can see here that it does have a bit of a hefty cost at 70 uh, so energy recharge is going to be an important substat to get but we can also see that his burst is also based off his max hp when it comes to calculating damage now let's move on to his passive talents we have heir to the ancient sea authority which is a really long name uh, basically, when a character on your team triggers any Hydro-related elemental reaction, and they list them all here, so Vaporize, Frozen, Electro Charge, so on and so on, uh, this does include a Hydro Swirl and a Hydro Crystallize, you will gain what's called a Past Draconic Glory Stack. Uh, it's a really long name again. Basically, these stacks increase your charge attack damage specifically by up to 160% of its original damage. That is a huge increase, and this is something you can easily do with anybody. This is what makes Nuvalet one of the most flexible characters in the game, because you're using, you want to give him characters 
not because like oh this one's good for sub dps this one's good for like you know other things like that like nuvolet can heal himself nuvolet can dps himself he just needs teammates that can do reactions so he can get those draconic glory stacks so characters that come to mind uh, we'll talk more about this in the team setup section is like dia you could actually use him with dia uh nahida is a good one or official because they can do loads of off field damage and can proc uh the needed elemental reactions to get the draconic glory stacks well let's move on to his uh, other passive talent which is called discipline of the supreme arbitration that's also a long name uh, basically, when your HP is above your max HP, which this can happen with the source water droplets or the water balls, you'll gain a hydro damage bonus. Uh, you can only obtain up to a maximum of 30% hydro damage bonus from this way. Now, this isn't really as good as it sounds because when you're doing your charge attack, you're actually draining Nuvolet's HP. So he's constantly draining his own HP while he charges his charge attack. I keep saying that. It's weird to say, but... Uh, so you won't be having the full effect of this buff for very long. Last but not least, gather like the tide. If you do not like underwater exploration in Fontaine, well, Nuvolet makes it just a bit easier for you by increasing your underwater sprint speed by 15%. Which is really nice, makes things go a bit faster. Now, Sammer does have a whale account, so expect, you know, five-star weapons with the five-star characters. This is its signature weapon. Uh, when it comes to looking for weapons for, you know, Nuvolet, obviously this is going to be the best one. But let's say you're free to play or you've pulled on other weapon banners. What are some good options? First of all, the cash flow supervision, which is Riceley's signature uh, uh, weapon. You can use this if you want to, just because it gives a nice crit rate. Also increases charge attack damage. Uh, if you did pull on Baiju's weapon, I believe his also gives a bunch of HP percentage as well. But, you know, let's tone it down a bit. Those are all five stars, you know, whoop de doo I'm a free to play or a low spender. I don't have access to five stars. What else can we use? Okay, if you did buy the battle pass, I'm just going to go ahead and throw this out here real fast. You can use the sacrificial jade. Okay, this is a battle pass weapon. Grab it if you do buy it. Now, the best free to play option that you can give Nivolet is going to be the prototype amber, simply because you can craft this weapon super early. Also gives you a bunch of HP percentage as a substat, so it's really good there. Um, the other good four-star weapon I can recommend is the Wid Sith because it gives a bunch of crit damage on substat. Now the three effect effects here you're seeing before you aren't really that good for Nuvolet. Remember, attack percentage not being that great. Elemental mash rate is eh, very like not that great either on Nuvolet because he does so much water damage. It's hard to consistently do elemental reactions or you know you don't really need to do elemental reactions to get the most damage with Nuvolet. So elemental mash rate kind of whatever. Um, but the elemental damage increase now we're talking if you do get that buff with the Winsith, then this becomes an incredibly powerful weapon for him all right we're moving on to artifacts and the best artifact set you can easily get him is the hunter set in fontaine simply because as we mentioned before nuvolet is constantly draining and gaining hp all the time so you'll be able to get the benefit of this what artifact set by getting a bunch of crit rate for free. Don't take my word for it. If we take a look at what everyone else is using, we can see that the dominant pick here is the, the Mary Chaucy Hunter set, followed by Wanderer's Troop, because that one's a set that everyone gets from fighting bosses and such. And if you want to, Part of Depth also gives him a bunch of Hydro damage and increases his charge damage by 30% on the four piece effect, which you can do, but a lot of people are farming the Fontaine domain because the Golden Troop is the other uh, artifact set in that domain, so it's very resin efficient. A lot of characters using uh, both of those sets right now. Not saying that the Heart of Depth isn't resin efficient either, but you're still going to get a lot more. It's going to be a lot more easier to to build your Nuvolet when it comes to artifact substats if you use the Hunter set. But once you've settled on an artifact set, you know what are you looking for for your substats? And it's actually really really easy here. Since he is a DPS, remember that we do want crit rate, crit damage as always. But you're also going to want energy recharge. Remember that we talked about that he gets a bunch of uh, source water droplets from his burst. So being able to just burst consistently and spamming it, uh, you know, it does do good damage, but it, it, it's just for the water droplet spamming. Basically, that's what we want it for. So just keep getting energy recharge until you you're, you feel like your burst uptime is comfortable. Then once you have that, 
Uh, the rest of the stats are pretty straightforward. You just want HP percentage or flat HP uh, being the best worst thing you can get. Remember that we mentioned that attack percentage or flat attack is going to be absolutely useless for Nuvlet because all of his his entire kit just scales around his max HP. If you not get attack percentage or attack or focus on attack, it's not going to do uh, anything for Nuvlet other than increase like his normal attack damage, which is what we don't use. And then elemental mastery I mentioned being like a very meh stat for Nuvlet simply because uh, he does so much hydro damage so fast, it's hard to have a character that can keep up with him. Uh, if you do get some, it's not the end of the world just know that getting hp percentage is the higher priority here now what are you looking for when it comes to the main stat of the sands goblet and the circlet respectively it's pretty straightforward for the sands hp percentage is going to be your only go-to option but let's see what y'all went for see we have some six percent of you almost are building nuvolet incorrectly so you know be careful when looking at the recommendations here so that attack percentage goblet is completely wasted on him I would rather you guys go for an energy recharge goblet because at least there you're getting something whereas attack percentage is giving you absolutely nothing. Someone needs to tell those 6% of players that they've built him wrong. Or maybe they have some really sick substats on that attack percentage goblet. I don't know, but it cannot be worth the damage loss of not having an HP percentage goblet instead. Sorry, uh, Sands. Sands is what I meant. Speaking of goblet, uh, hydro damage bonus is going to be your go-to here. Uh, you can go for HP percentage as well, depending on which subsets roll better for you. Um, again, we have a 3% of you using attack percentage. No, no, no. This is not the correct uh, main stat you want on Nuvolet. Please change that as soon as you can. Last but not least, the circlet, either crit rate or crit damage is going to be your go-to, whichever one you feel like you're lacking. This is going to depend on how your substats roll and which weapon you chose to give him. So keep that in mind. I can only recommend an HP percentage early on because if you do invest heavily into HP percentage, let's say you went main set HP percentage for all three, you are definitely going to be lacking some crit rate and crit damage here and there. And not only that, there are diminishing returns when you heavily invest into only one stat, which is why it's recommended to always balance it out go for other ways to scale your damage like hydro damage increase your and crit damage also being really good reminder that samurai is a whale so she does have c1 for nuvolet now i am gonna briefly just go over his constellations because honestly he's already an insanely strong dps at c0 but if you do decide to vest in him further for whatever reason here's what you can get c1 is a quality of life constellation because you're gonna already have a stack of Draconic Glory by default. So now you don't have to do three reactions to get the max, you only need to do two. This makes him a, even more of a versatile character because you can pair him up with Hydro characters like Farina, for instance, and now you're getting the Hydro Resonance buff, which is even more max HP. This also gives him in, uh, interruption resistance with his charge attack, but that's kind of whatever. Uh, you can always just give him a shield. Now, again, we're just going to go past these pretty briefly. Is it, and this one just gives you more damage for the charge attack specifically. Now, this is something I want to point out. Usually I say C3, C5, skill and burst and move on. C3 is actually plus 3 to his normal attack. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe he is the only character so far that I know of that actually gets a plus C to their normal attack as opposed to skill and burst like everybody else. Yoimiya mains out there are probably jealous of this constellation because she doesn't get a plus 3 to her normal attack skill. C4 makes collecting source water even easier by generating more of them. And C6, I'm not even going to get into this because this is just honestly, this is ridiculous. This is so much damage on a character that already does so much damage. Let's talk team comps for Nuvolet. And you might be seeing uh, he doesn't have any teammates. Oops. But also not oops, because Nuvolet is perfectly fine by himself. You might have seen me do the uh, the gameplay footage in the background earlier, and yeah, he was taking care of just about any enemy he came across with ease. He doesn't need help. He's very strong. The only time he has issues is if you're going against water immune enemies like Hydro Slimes, or water shielded enemies like the Abyss Mages. Let's just say you want to give him some teammates so that our favorite Chief Justice isn't feeling so lonely. Who can we give him? And the answer is going to be anybody. I'm going to just put random teammates here uh, and explain briefly why they work. Dia is here because she gives resistance to interruption. Uh, she also can be an off-field pyro damage dealer with her little uh, field, with her skill. 
And as long as Nuvolet is in there, you're proccing her skill and you're doing Vaporize, which gives him the Draconic stacks. Nihita being one of the best partners he can get. She applies her Dendro off field, plenty of blooms. You're going to get extra bloom damage and that's pretty much Pretty much that. And then Fischl, Oz can be on the field while Fischl does not have to be. And then you get your free Draconic Sacks there. Next up, I decided to put Kazuha here because he's going to be on the rerun banner alongside Nuvolet. And these two work really well together. Kazuha can group up your enemies for you while also providing a debuff and a buff to Nuvolet simultaneously. He'll debuff enemies, uh, elemental res resistance, preferably Hydro, right? And he'll buff elemental damage, which goes straight to Nuvolet's charge attack. That's really, really, really strong. You can also use Sucrose for this exact same purpose, uh, but Kazuha is going to be better than Sucrose uh, because Sucrose just gives you elemental mastery, whereas Kazuha gives you straight up elemental damage. Zhongli for the shield, again, if you just want the super comfiness in case you do get interrupted while doing your charge attack, it just doesn't have to be Zhongli. It can also be Layla who can apply Cryo. So that's another water um, elemental reaction for your Draconic stacks. Uh, Albedo here, also just off-field GeoDPS. Now we have some more choices that you're seeing here before you. I'm actually going to go ahead and say that you can use Dendro Traveler with Nuvolet if you so choose, but there's actually another underrated option uh, you can give. Hydro Traveler. Hydro Traveler actually makes source water droplets with their, I believe it's either their skill or their burst. Uh, it's one of them. And those do affect Nuvolet's charge time. So if you, he can use those source water droplets. Freena is here because she obviously buffs everybody <laughs> well in the game and that does include Nuvolet. However, if you do have the C1 that I was talking about earlier with Nuvolet and you only need the two reactions, then it's perfectly viable to pair him up with a Hydro character for extra damage. Now her Bubble Buddies will also do their thing and her Burst will also do its thing of buffing your own damage by a ton. And if we look at the Hydro Resonance, you're going to get a maximum uh, HP increase of 25%, which is really, really good. And last but not least, Dory is here. Why do I recommend Dory? A uh, very easy elemental application for Electro Charge, but her burst also refills the energy of your active character. So she can help your energy recharge needs if you're struggling. These are just some of the limited options you can use with Nouvellet. I obviously did not show you every single character that works with him because he is just one of those guys that just works well with almost everybody. Almost. I would say he works well with about 70% of the cast. Want me to showcase every single person that works well with them? We're going to be here for quite a while. But this was just some of the options just to give you a heads up or a head start on what kind of teammates you should be looking for. And last but not least, we have made it to the very end of the guide. Woo! I should be having some Spiral Abyss footage in the background as you can see him easily dominate the Spiral Abyss. Uh, and it, honestly, it doesn't matter which half I bring him on, bring him on, by the way, I could have brought him on the second half and he would have done, done just as fine. I have him currently in the first half, but just want to point that out. And he, as long as there's no Hydro immune enemies in the Spiral Abyss, this dude is fine. And with that being said, I'm just going to share my two cents on the character. And, you know, I think Nuvolet is one of those must pull characters if you want to make this game a lot easier because he's again, he's one of the strongest characters in the game. You don't know for how long until he gets power crept, but even when he, if he does, he's still going to be a good option. Um, the only reason I wouldn't recommend pulling him is for those that still want this game to be challenging. Seriously, because once you do pull him, once you get him built, again, you might be saying, oh, Samur's a whale. She has his five star weapon and his C1. I wonder why he looks so good. Okay, even if he didn't have his first constellation or his signature weapon, he still does a ton of damage. In fact, on his first release, people were soloing the Spiral Abyss or 12 with just Nuvolet with a four star weapon at C0 and he was destroying the Abyss. Now, granted, that Abyss also had a blessing that favored him very well, so he had even more damage, but it's still crazy to say that a character can solo the abyss there wasn't many characters that can do this uh one of them being ganyu but that was way back in the past where uh you know enemies were much weaker these days it's much harder to do it with ganyu especially at c0 man yeah, nuvolet just makes the game easy mode
No matter what, it's going to be easy. Boss is easy, groups of enemies easy, combat events easy, Spiral Abyss is going to be easy. In fact, I was clearing Spiral Abyss with Samir's uh, new Valette here. You know, pre-floor 12, every chamber with him took about like 10 seconds. So if you pull for him, you give your second half team or your, you know, your first half team, wherever he is, so much more time than they would normally have to complete a chamber and that could go a long way into helping you fully clear the abyss for those that are struggling with the abyss i highly highly recommend him he is really really strong um the reason i didn't pull for him if you're wondering why i keep saying you know pull this character he's so good you know why don't you have him on your account uh calamity you know you're on someone else's account having to do a guide on their account because you don't have him that's because i was saving for farina <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm not a whale, okay? I am I don't spend money on this game anymore. So I am I'm there with you guys and I have to save my gems and I really wanted to save for Farina at the time. Um and I actually was gonna pull for him on his rerun banner, but guess who they just announced for the next update? They announced our favorite dad. <laughs> so she's gonna be available to be pulled on and I want that character. So sorry, Nuvalet again, but I'm gonna go for someone else. And for me personally, I'm okay with my performance in this Viral Abyss. I have no reason to need to pull for a, a really strong character because I'm very happy with my teams. Um, I'm still full clearing the Abyss. I don't feel like I'm struggling. Um, so, you know, having another character like Nuvalet, you know, I don't really need him. But he would still be fun to have. He's very fun to play. And with that being said, I think that should be a wrap on this guide. If there's anything you feel like I missed or if you feel like I went too fast, just you know, feel free to ask me in the comments down below. I'll do my best to try to help you out. But if there's also any other Nuvalette mains out there that want to share some tips and advice, feel free to do so as well. Um, but before I go, I know I didn't really talk about any sort of techs or special things with Nuvalette that you can do. Like, for example, I've seen people do like some really crazy spins in order to do quote unquote AoE damage uh, when your enemies are super split up. You can do that if you want. I just think it's super unnecessary. You can just use a grouping character like Kazuha or Sucrose if you want. And I don't want to make you guys motion sick because I've seen some content creators do that and be like, you guys can do AoE damage with Nuvalet by spinning your camera really, really fast. And I got motion sick watching that and I don't want to do the same thing to you guys. So I know that is a strategy. If you, if you don't get motion sick doing that kind of thing, you know, more power to you, but not everyone has that kind of immunity, uh, honestly. But again, also unnecessary. Just Charge up his charge attack and have fun. Pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and or subscribe to the channel. Uh, if this guide helped you, helps me out a lot. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.